This video is a demonstration on how to switch your code over from Unity's built-in input manager to using C input 2.0. And it's actually pretty simple, but first we'll show you that this script here, as you can see, is using the built-in input to control the game. And then I'll just show you a quick demonstration of the game. You can move left and right, you can speed up and slow down, you can shoot the bad guys, push P to pause, and that's it as I get blown to smithereens. Um, anyway, switching over from the built-in input to C input is very simple. The first thing you want to do is start by defining your keys, and you do that by giving um, by naming the action. So we'll start with pause, for instance. And then the way to pause is with the P key for the primary input. And we don't want a second button to push to pause, so we'll just leave it blank and it'll automatically be set to nothing. And then to switch pause, you just go to where it says input, you put a C in front of it to make it C input, and then you change the key code with the action name. So that would be pause. And as you can see, pausing works. So let's make it a little more interesting by doing the rest of the controls. Again, you have the name, you have the key, and now you can use a string, or if it's something that's harder to remember or you just want to be sure that you get it right, you can type keys, push period, and then it'll pop up the list of autocomplete. And so we want to do the left arrow and that way you'll always know you're getting it right, or if you just can't be bothered to remember all the possible strings there could be, you can use that, and it's very, very handy. So I'll just finish typing these in here. And then the last one to do is the shoot action. And that will be the spacebar. Okay, so now that we've got all of our keys defined, we just need to switch the code below to use them. So again, we change input to C input, and then you just take the key code and you change it to the name of the action. So this is spacebar, which was the shoot action. This is the up arrow, so that was up. Change that to C input. The down arrow goes to down. Now the left and right movement is a little bit, um, a little bit different because it uses an axis called horizontal. So what we need to do to get that to work is create an axis and you give it a name and then you give it the the keys that you defined above up here you use those to say which one will be used for the negative values for this axis so left and then which one will be used for the positive values of this axis so that's right so right there on that one line of code I've said for the horizontal axis, I want the A key and the left arrow to give it negative values, and the D key and the right arrow to give it positive values. And then to switch the code over to use that axis we've just defined, it's very simple. You just change this to C input, and it should work. So let's give that a try. I can speed up and slow down and shoot and move left and right and pause and unpause and it all works. So I hope that was helpful.
and instructive, and thank you for watching.